Tech Guides. I am Brian, and today we're going to be going over a very cool feature that I found uh, in the Google Apps section of allowing students to not be able to share, copy, or paste documents with other students or on other worksheets. So uh, let's just get straight into it. So here's an old copy of a Google Doc they already previously had. So we'll just open this up. Now let's say you were going to share this with a student and you didn't want them to be able to copy and paste the answers into the document you want them to actually type this will come out great so if you hit out with the share button here and once it loads in there's the gear up here now in the top right if you click up here this brings you to share with people settings you have editors can change permissions and share. If you take this off, students will still be able to edit the document, but will now not be able to share the document with another student without you getting an email notification asking for permission of them wanting to share it with another student. So that's a great little feature there. Then this one here, viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. So if you turn this one off, viewers and commenters will uh, not be able to download, print, or copy the document. Now, as we continue on in the back section here, there are different sections of other things as well. So that's Docs. So if we hit New, Google Slides, I'll show you where it's at in here as well. If we go to the share feature here, I'll change it to share settings. Okay, so I had to name the document before we got started, but if we then go up to here, you won't be able to, viewers and commenters can see, we can turn these off immediately. And then that's how you would do it on a new document. You have to be able to hit done to change the settings there. And then that changes it for the entire document. So that's been super helpful as far as getting things done with uh, students not being able to share, copy and paste, change things like that. Now, um, copying of the document, pasting doesn't work when they're in view mode. It does work when they're in edit mode but that still is another thing that's at least slowing them down on getting just the copying it from Google, copying it into the doc, copying it from the doc out into Google to find the answer. Now at least they're at least having to type and working on that type of life skill, which I think is very helpful. Now another thing is, I know a lot of people don't do individual docs. Some people do it with Google Classroom or Schoology. So, Let's say you were to give this Google assignment on Schoology. If you were to do that, it's going to end up generating a Schoology Google Drive assessments folder. Now we covered this in a previous video, but just as a recap, all of your classes and all of your assignments that you put into Google Drive will go, or into Schoology through Google Drive, will end up in this folder. Since this is my demo class, because I don't want to show you any of my students' names or things like that, if you were to highlight your folders, if you have like, let's say 10 of them, and then you click on the share examples here, you can actually change the editors won't have uh, permissions to share, and that will affect everything in that document. Now that's all currently existing things in those folders. And then you'd hit done. Now, let's say you just pushed out a new assignment. Well, this has already been marked, but the new assignment won't change. So if you were to open it up, and thank you, Mrs. Scobie, for letting me use her uh, fake worksheet here. If you were just to highlight all of your students' names and documents and just drag your way up, you could change all of the permissions right away for all students. So this goes so quick, and it's way faster than going in between each of the students' individual assignments in Schoology to get it fixed. This has been a huge help for me in my class, helping my kids starting to learn how to like, you know, research and type versus just copying and pasting everything into certain areas. 
and it's just been super helpful. So I wanted to get this out here, just share it with you guys. You know, it's nothing that's like completely groundbreaking, but it is something that Google I think has recently put out that has been super helpful while we move into this more tech digitalized computer based world that we're currently living in. Um, I hope all of you guys had a wonderful start to the beginning of your new school year and I will see you guys in the next video.